Well, welcome everyone. We are so glad you are here with us today and honored to have you in our midst. It is the end of our worship week here at St. Peter's. And uh, I am in the midst of bringing us up live on Facebook. So bear with me for a moment. Um, it, we are also on the fast approach toward the end of resurrection season, toward the end of Eastertide. So I thought I'd throw up a, a resurrection image. This is from the Eisenheim altarpiece, which is uh, accredited to Matthias Grunewald. Um, and according to the description, I love this, it is, it is the ultimate point of medieval religious art. Bing! So it's Beethoven's ninth for medieval, medieval painting. Um, all right. And yeah, now I see his hands and his feet. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Welcome home. And I will start us up. Let's see if we have an API issue again today. We had that yesterday with Facebook. But we were fine last night. We were fine last night. Uh, I'm to uh, park myself. Okay. It's all right, Bill. You got the second reading, so. So please like and subscribe, hit the uh, subscription bell for uh, notifications of when you would like to uh, see when we post content. We are always posting content here at St. Peter's. And of course, uh, if you're watching on Facebook, you can always um, just uh, start a watch party, invite your friends to church. Uh, as well, if you have any prayer concerns and thanksgivings that you would like to have lifted up uh, toward the end of this service, please put those in the comments section now. We will do that on Facebook. And if you are watching on YouTube, please put them in your in the comment section. We will make sure they get prayed over at the very next office, which is evening prayer at 5 p.m. All right, leaving the Grunewald resurrection image, I will take us to morning prayer. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the antiphon and invitatory. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Our Psalms this morning are 70 and 71. I'll offer the odd if you guys would be so kind as to respond with the even. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire to hurt me. Let those who say, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. 
Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O oh my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel. For you, O oh Lord, are my hope, my trust, O oh Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have learned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have been like a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in the time of my old age. Do not forsake me when my strength is spent. For my enemies speak concerning me, and those who watch for my life consult together. They say, pursue and seize that person whom God has forsaken, for there is no one to deliver. O oh God, do not be far from me. O oh my God, make haste to help me. Let my accusers be put to shame and consumed. Let those who seek to hurt me be covered with scorn and disgrace. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous acts, of your deeds of salvation all day long, though their number is past my knowledge. I will come praising the mighty deeds of the Lord God. I will praise your righteousness, yours alone. O God, from my youth you have taught me, and I still proclaim your wondrous deeds. So even to old age and gray hairs, O God, do not forsake me until I proclaim your might to all the generations to come. Your power and your righteousness, O God, reach to the high heavens. You who have done great things, O God, who is like you? You have made me see many troubles and calamities will, re will revive me again. From the depths of the earth, you will bring me up again. You will increase my honor and comfort me once again. I will also praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will sing praises to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you, my soul also, which you have rescued. All day long, my tongue will talk of your righteous help. For those who tried to do me harm have been put to shame and disgraced. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. For the worship of idols is not to be named, for the worship of idols not to be named is the beginning and cause of every evil. For the worshipers either rave in exultation or prophecy lies, or live unrighteously or readily commit perjury. For because they trust in lifeless idols, they swear wicked oaths and expect to suffer no harm. But just penalties will overtake them on two counts because they thought wrongly about God in devoting themselves to idols and because in deceit they swore unrighteously through contempt for holiness. For it is not the power of the things by which people swear but the just penalty for those who sin that always pursues the transgression of the unrighteous. But you, our God, are kind and true, patient and ruling all things in mercy. For even if we sin, we are yours, knowing your power. But we will not sin because we know that you acknowledge us as yours. For to know you is complete righteousness and to know your power is the root of immortality. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning is the Song of Zechariah. Together, blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. 
He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I hope this works. <laughs> crossed. You got it. Okay. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. Welcome those who are weak in faith, but not for the purpose of quarreling over opinions. Some believe in eating anything, while the weak eat only vegetables. Those who eat must not despise those who abstain, and those who abstain must not pass judgment on those who eat, for God has welcomed them. Who are you to pass judgment on the servants of others? It is before their own Lord that they stand or fall. And they will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make them. You got it? I think I froze again. Oh, stand. All right, I'll take it. Some judge one day to be yep, better I froze than another. again. Okay. Some judge one day to be better than another, while others judge all days to be alike. Let all be fully convinced in their own minds. Those who observe uh, the day, yeah. observe it in honor of the Lord, and also those who eat, eat Okay, I'm honor. sorry. I, I don't know. What... We got you. Okay. Uh, if you come back, are you back? No. Some judge one day to be better than another, while others judge all days to be alike. Let all be fully convinced in their own minds. Those who observe the day, observe it in honor of the Lord. Also, those who eat, eat in honor of the Lord, since they give thanks to God, while those who abstain, abstain in honor of the Lord and give thanks to God. We do not live to ourselves, and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister, or you who do you, de why do you despise your brother or sister? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then each of us will be accountable to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle is a song to the Lamb. We lost Bill, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed, but uh, we hope to get him back before the end of the office. All right, here we come. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God, for you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our prayers and receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis, and if you have any intercessions, this is the time to add them in the Facebook section of comments. Together, Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Your intercessions and thanksgivings are welcome. We pray for uh, Bill so that he gets a better internet connection. He sends his apologies for not being able to be with us this morning. He was really looking forward to it. So we pray for solid internet in our communities and unbroken Zoom calls for everyone today. We pray for Paul who's undergoing testing today. Uh, we, we pray for Joe who is scheduling testing this week. We pray for them to have answers and for the doctors to find a path forward for, for healing. We pray for Jacqueline who is having surgery today. We pray for all those who are awaiting results of tests or are anticipating procedures that may be challenging for them. We continue to pray for the people in India affected by the spike in the coronavirus pandemic, and we pray for effective distribution of vaccine therapies and treatments for all around the globe as we continue to do everything we can to find healing in our communities in the face of a pandemic. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, 
but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us, and uh, we appreciate your presence today. Please do like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, feel free to like the page, share your um, participation in our services with a watch party. And as always, if you have any prayer concerns, please put those in the comment section. Um, we are monitoring those and checking out and making sure we have everything prayed for and prayed over. We will conclude our worship week with evening prayer at 5 p.m. as we look towards Sunday at 10 a.m., God willing, and the creek not rising. Um, we will be at pretty much a flood is the only reason we wouldn't have church on Sunday because <laughs> we survived the rainstorm last week. Um, but all are welcome, and uh, we're happy to welcome you home to St. Peter's as always. So there'll be a rector's vlog posting with the e-news as well on our website, www.stpeterspotswood.org. Two S's between Peter and Potswood. And we are happy to uh, bid you a grace-filled day. Bye-bye. Take care and God bless.